Water is an essential factor for the existence of life. We get water mainly in the form of rain. As the air rises, its temperature decreases and the vapor contained in it gets condensed. The water droplets formed in this process come together and their size increases. These large water droplets cannot float in the air and fall or precipitate to the ground. This is called rain. In this lesson, we are going to learn about rain as an element of climate. There are three types of rain depending on the manner in which it occurs. Now, let us study about types of rain. First is convectional rain. Air becomes hot due to the heat received from the sun and starts rising higher. When it goes up, the air starts becoming cool and its capacity to hold vapor reduces. Thus, the vapor in the rising air condenses and is transformed into water droplets and it rains. In regions where air moves vertically rather than horizontally, we have this type of rain. This rain caused by the upward flow of hot air is called convectional rain. This type of rain falls in the afternoon every day in the equatorial region. This type of rain is accompanied by thunder and lightning. 2. Orographic rain Winds coming from over the sea or large water bodies contain plenty of vapour. They are obstructed by high mountain ranges and rise upward. Due to the low temperature at the high altitude, the vapour in the air condenses and it rains. Rain caused by obstructing mountains forcing the air to rise is called orographic rain. It rains more on the mountain side where the winds are obstructed and rise upwards. The vapour content in the winds that have crossed the mountain is less. Vapour holding capacity of these descending winds also increases and hence rains less. Such a region of low rainfall is called a rain shadow. 3. Cyclonic rain When a cyclone is developing in a certain area, the air in the cyclone starts rising its temperature decreases and the vapour in the air condenses. Thus, it rains. This rain is called cyclonic rain. When a cyclone is moving from one place to another, it rains in the region it crosses. In the temperate zone, this type of rain is common. The torrid zone also receives the cyclonic rain to some extent. It is of a stormy nature. Most of the areas in the world receive orographic rain. Convectional rain is regional in nature in the equatorial region. Occurrence of convectional rain is certain. Orographic and cyclonic rains are not so dependable. That is why regions which receive this type of rain sometimes have to face calamities like floods or droughts. Now let us gather information about world distribution of rain. The distribution of rain on the earth is found to be uneven. Generally, the rainfall reduces as we go from the equator to the poles. The distribution of rainfall in the world is shown in the map with the help of isoheights. Lines on the map drawn through places receiving the same amount of rainfall are called isoheights. 1. Areas of low rainfall Regions that receive less than 500 mm rainfall are included in this category. A very large portion of the land area on the earth is included in low rainfall area. It comprises cold deserts lying to the extreme north of the continents the continent of Antarctica, the interior part of Asia and Africa, the Kalahari Desert in South Africa, 
and the desert region of Central Australia. In a region of low rainfall, thorny vegetation is mainly found. 2. Area of moderate rainfall Areas which receive an average annual rainfall between 500 to 1000 mm are included in this category. This comprises the eastern part of the continents of North America, Asia, Australia, as well as parts of South Africa, South America, and Europe. In this region, mainly grasslands are found. 3. Areas of heavy rainfall Regions where the average annual rainfall is more than 1000 mm fall into this category. The region up to 20 degrees north and south of the equator receives heavy rainfall. Within this belt, Southeast Asia, parts of the Indian subcontinent, Central Africa and the Amazon Valley in South America receive more than 2000 mm of rainfall. Besides these, beyond 20 degrees north and south latitudes, South America, Southeast China, southeastern part of the United States are also areas of high rainfall. Forest is the main vegetation type here. Rain gauge. The instrument used for measuring rain is called a rain gauge. Different types of rain gauges are used. Let us see how a simple rain gauge is used to measure rain. A rain gauge is shown in figure. In this, there is a funnel with a specific diameter. The rain water which falls on this funnel is collected in the bottle of the rain gauge. Water thus collected is measured with a particular measuring glass. This measuring glass is calibrated to measure rainfall in millimeters. In an observatory, a rain gauge is placed on a raised platform in an open space. The amount of rainfall during the day is measured at a fixed time. In regions with heavy rainfall, rain is measured every three hours. If rain is not allowed to flow off or to percolate or evaporate and is thus allowed to get stored on flat ground, it will form a layer on the ground. The thickness of this layer can be measured in millimeter. The thickness of this layer in millimeters is the rainfall in that area in millimeters. Acid rain. Many gases get mixed in the air due to the pollution in industrial areas. Acids are formed through the reaction of these gases with the vapor in the air. Thus, the rainwater falling to the ground in these areas contains acids. Such a rain is called acid rain. Acid rain is harmful to plants, animals as well as to human beings. Cyclones in the torrid zone. Some of the cyclones in the torrid zone are ferocious. They are known by different names such as hurricane, typhoon, tornado, etc. These cyclones usually hit the eastern coastal regions of the continents.